Wow, I haven't done this in a long time. One month is way too long for me to be away from my channel. But you know, I was busy doing a whole bunch of stuff, but we're not making excuses. I'm holding myself accountable. I shouldn't have been away for that long. It was rude. It was rude for me to be away from YouTube that long. Thank you guys for continuously tuning in. If you are new here, my name is Araya. Um, guys, I've been up to a lot. This is this is gonna be a life update video. Um, I've been up to a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're doing. You need to hurry up and subscribe. I know I've been gone, but I, I'm gonna get back into the momentum now, so I need you guys to subscribe, please. Um, so yeah. I was going to do a haul today actually, but my clothes have not come in yet from Zara. They're actually on their way here, but I feel like they're going to come around like 4 or 5, maybe sometime in the evening. So I thought I would just give you guys a life update first and it actually works out. Anyways, so where do I even start you guys? So the reason why I've been kind of like quote unquote absent from YouTube I feel like this is such a typical YouTuber video, like talking about why you've been away. But I, look, I have to tell you guys. <laughs> the reason why I've been away is not because like I've been going through like anything like harmful or extremely personal. I've really just been in grind mode. Um, I've really just been trying to like prioritize certain things in my life as well as like enjoying my summer as well, the last like little bit of summer. Um, Luckily, I was able to put out like a good couple of videos for um, between the months of like June to up until down to like August. So I was happy with that, but um, I was just really like enjoying life and just um, trying to what's it called build my brand and build my avenue in other um, areas. And then the pandemic was hitting hard. Like so, for example, like I'm from Toronto. Things in Toronto are already expensive and I know that everybody's been like hit heavy like when it comes to the inflation of prices now because obviously everything was was closed and then everything opened up this summer so everybody was trying to go out and like um bruh the restaurants are expensive now like the prices have gone up and prices have gone up and everywhere else too like just grocery stores as well just gas sister gas gas and not just the regular gas my car takes premium gas so premium gas prices <laughs> who no I have to pause because it was it's been disgusting and it's still disgusting so um that leads me into an another like avenue on like why i've been away from youtube because i want to be i do want to do um haul more hauls i know that i um did talk about that and promise that more but um now that i've been you being been doing youtube for like over like a year and a bit now i've realized that it can actually be like financially draining in a way where it's like hauls are expensive sweetie and especially now because like re retailers are um retailers are you know they're upping their prices but they're for clo their clothes and um everything and you know so i've been really trying to like it put things into perspective for me as like a youtuber that <laughs> this life is not for the week okay um so furthermore if you follow me on um instagram which you should be by now if you don't follow me i'm gonna put it on my put it on the screen you should be following me by now okay that's why you're here well you're here to watch my videos but you should follow me on instagram socials by now whatever um i've been going so hard um on instagram i've been very consistent i've been posting reels um i've been posting pictures i've had um i've been talking to a lot of um people to a lot of like mentors i've been watching and i'm working with um a lot of people who have been helping me um to maintain my brand to start up my brand and continue to maintain it and i've been enjoying that as well which is why i've been i haven't been that consistent on youtube so i'd say like my transition from um i've been i don't want to say transition because i'm still here doing youtube 
I love YouTube. Um, but I'd say that um, I've been putting more, I've been prioritizing, that's the word, I've been prioritizing um, Instagram more than I've been prioritizing YouTube. And I'm, honestly, I've been having fun with it. I'm really trying to like work and grind and do, um, do this like content creator influencer life. I hate using the word influencer and I always tell people that digital creator <laughs> I'm still honestly I think I feel like I'm still new to this but um yeah that's what I've been doing and I've been enjoying it it's hard work you guys like and I knew that but like after I've been doing this for like a year and change like I'm starting to appreciate like the content creator life more and um yeah so that's what it comes down to like the social media aspect I also have like a full-time job I know I don't talk about it that much not because like I'm ashamed or anything I just like I just get I just enjoy what I'm doing when I'm here like posting and stuff like I enjoy it I don't really feel the need to talk about work but I do have a full-time job I work for a healthcare agency and I work evenings so I, I work like um, into the night so that keeps that's been keeping me busy as well I'm also working on a few other projects but I'm not gonna tell you guys it because you need to just tune in when the time comes. Just keep watching. Um, but yeah, let me. See. I don't know if I have anything else to. I don't think every. I think that's it for the most part. I've just been trying to, you know, um, <clears throat> see how I can maneuver myself um, in terms content-wise and not just like. Um, keep spending on hauls as much as I love to do hauls um, I did need to think of other avenues and other ways I can grow as a content creator I didn't mention TikTok as well I hated TikTok like when I first started to just like do video when I first started it and tried to like see how it works because in the beginning I was like how do you work this app I hated TikTok because I was like oh my god another social media platform I have to like have, build my presence on but um you know i just eventually i just was doing research and i learned that i have to build my audience there so i've been on tiktok as well and um yeah it just youtube has uh, taught me a lot so far um thus far listen i'm here for my dark skin woman i'm here for my petite women i'm gonna keep pushing that agenda um, but I did want to just hop on here and tell you guys that, you know, um, it's sometimes like it doesn't even matter what the profession you're doing or the field or you're passionate, what you're passionate about. Sometimes like it's okay to just like, you know, see how you can keep going without financially putting yourself in like a deeper, a deep hole. And that's something that I'm, um, that I've learned with um with youtube and just like creating in general so i'm gonna keep going and thank you for watching if you've come this far i know that a month is too long for me to wait be for me to be away from my channel so like i'm not gonna do that again i'm gonna try very hard to make sure that i don't do that again but like i said if you haven't already you need to subscribe like comment let me know if you like this video okay and <laughs> see you guys in my next one bye